And if you don't understand the seeker model, that will help explain it to you. And there's been a lot of people who don't understand it. Basically, though, at, at Willow Creek, here's what they want. They want their lost people, I'm sorry, their, their believers to develop a relationship with a lost person. And they hit this hard, constantly, over and over. Secondly, they want them to share a verbal witness. So that means they know how to do that. Thirdly, they invite them to a seeker service, Sunday morning. Fourth, invite to a new community service. So what they have done is they have given up Sunday morning as a believer service, which is typical in so many churches. That's what it's for, believers. And they said, our believers, our people will come back one night during the week. I think they do it on a Wednesday and a Thursday night. But Sunday morning is where you can invite your seeker friends to come to church to hear the gospel. Then they want you to join a small group, discover your spiritual gifts, and steward your resources. Then we have the purpose-driven church model, which has five things. It's fairly close to the seeker model, but there are some distinctions, and you can see them there. Look at the top of page 13. We have in this area here a group of churches called the Fellowship Bible Churches, and this is a Fellowship Bible Church model. Interestingly, we have Fellowship Bible Church Dallas. We have Fellowship Bible Church McKinney. We have a number of them out there. We have one, um, another one not too far from the one in uh, Fellowship Bible Church Dallas. They're, they're not... Uh, we have Tony Evans is a Fellowship Bible Church model. He bought into this. And Gene Getz is the one that has developed this. Now notice two things, two ministries here to be involved in. A worship preaching event and a small group. That's it. Now, I worked with this church and when we talked about this, the Fellowship Di Dallas, a number of the people said, we need more Bible. I said, wait a minute, this is Fellowship Bible Church. And they said, doesn't matter, we need more Bible. So I don't know if they ever did that or not. I think we left it up to the team that was working here to come back with a recommendation. But I think they went to three primary ministries. Worship preaching, Sunday school or Bible study would probably be a better term, and then small group ministries.